In today's video, I'm gonna talk to you about voluntary sustainability standard systems and EU trade policy. There's one main message that I would like you to take with you after the video, which is voluntary sustainability standard systems are very important actors in contemporary trade and EU trade policy should pay close attention to them. Now, what are voluntary sustainability standard systems? They are standards, which means that at their core, there exists a document that specifies rules and requirements applying to products and services and the way products are produced and services are performed. Then there's the word sustainability, which tells us that these rules and requirements are about a dimension of sustainability. For instance, environmental sustainability or the protection of labor, of human rights, etc. There's the word voluntary which means that there exists no law that prevents a producer that does not comply with these requirements to export in a certain market. And finally, there is the word systems, which means that around these documents, there exists a collective of organizations, including NGOs, private companies, business associations, that are responsible for the activities that pertain the definition and the implementation of these standards. Why are voluntary sustainability standard systems relevant for trade? For two reasons. One, there are a lot of consumers around the world, including the EU, that care about sustainability and they want that the products and the services that they buy and import are consistent with these values, with these values of sustainability. Now, voluntary sustainability standard systems represent a tool for producers to send a message, to send a signal to those consumers that their product or service is consistent with these values of sustainability. The second reason is that in some cases, voluntary sustainability standard system can become a barrier for small producers. For example, complying with these rules and requirements can be the only way for producers to sell their produce to a specific retailer. If small producers have to bear high cost of implementation and certification, in that case, voluntary sustainability standard systems become a barrier for them. Now, given that voluntary sustainability standard systems are relevant for trade, EU trade policy should care about them. On the one hand, it should intervene in those contexts where voluntary sustainability standard systems represent a barrier for small producers. On the other hand, given that EU trade policy is not just about trade, but it's about those values, promoting those values in which EU consumers believe, EU trade policy should exploit potential synergies with voluntary sustainability standard systems. In fact, these values largely overlap the sustainability criteria which are embedded in the standards. Thanks for watching. 